the decades before the First World War, the centuries before the First World War, the cavalry played a really key role in European armies. Men on horseback were, were like shock troops, so the artillery would pound the enemy, the infantry would go forward, and they'd be followed then by the cavalry. Also, in terms of prestige, um, the cavalry regiments were really the elite. For someone like Edward Byrne, an ordinary guy from a reasonably disadvantaged background, to be on horseback in the cavalry was a great thing. David, everything I've heard about the Hussars, were they a crack outfit? Absolutely. I mean, all of the cavalry at this period were, they considered themselves the cream of the army. They're very skilled, very highly trained men. What you have to imagine is that they have a rifle, they have all the skills of an infantryman, they can march, they can shoot, they can fight with a bayonet. But on top of that, they have a whole extra skill set, which is the work with the sword and lance mounted, all the horse drills, looking after the horse. So. Edward will have had a very intensive two years of training, and he will be an elite soldier by 1914. I have this image of this young fella coming over from County Wicklow and going through that entire training process to turn him into a pretty skilled operator. Yes. He would have been a highly skilled, very confident man. You've got 600 kilos of horse, traveling at about 30 mile an hour behind the point of that sword. That's a tremendous amount of energy. If that hits a German, it will go right through and it will stop when the soldier hits the guard of the horse. People say, why use a sword when you've got rifles or pistols? You must remember the morale effect. If you imagine 300 people coming towards you, all with those glittering blades out, all shouting, coming, wow, we're gonna come and kill you. That's a terrifying sight. These men were not only considered an elite, they considered themselves an elite. They were really up for it. They knew the war had been coming for several years. This was their chance to get over to France and show exactly what they were made of. 